my calling is to help other people find their calling. I mean, really, no matter what, every believer is called to the ministry. You might not be called to go to Africa or to be a pastor or to be a music minister, or maybe you are, but every believer is called to do something. Every believer is called to take the gospel to the ends of the earth. And the ends of the earth starts as soon as you open your front door. We all have messes in our lives. And yours might not look like what mine did, but we all have something that we've gone through or that we're going through. And the thing is, God is in the business of taking our mess and turning that into our message. And it's usually the very thing that we would much rather never talk about again, that we would just like to kind of push under the carpet, pretend like it never happened, go to church on Sunday, put on our nice church face, and oh yes, everything's fine, always been fine. Thank you very much, praise the Lord. But that's not real life. And the thing is that there's somebody else out there, probably in your life right now, that's going through the same thing, and they want to hear you say, they need to hear you say, here's where I was, and here's where I am now, and it's all because of God, and if I made it, you can too. It always amazes me that God never does anything halfway. He doesn't hold back on us. When he does something, he goes over the top. In 1 John, it says, how great is the love the Father has lavished on us that we could be called children of God. When you saw that we were fallen, you couldn't turn away. You sent Jesus to save what we'd become. His perfect blood so precious Not one drop should be spilled But you poured it out Till it was born I'm amazed at the ways You lavish your love Lord, the way by the links You would go That you would trade for my life Oh, the life of your son Oh, such lavish love God, we worship you tonight. We thank you tonight, God, for just being able to be in your presence, just to feel you around us, and you are bigger than we could ever imagine. Thank you, God, for all that you've done for us, all that you are, God. But Lord, we come together, and we worship you, and we raise our hands, and we sing, and we are changed in worship. But God, when we leave this place, we don't want to just be changed we want to go out into the world changing, making a difference in Jesus' name. He says, come to the living waters. Only I can satisfy you, God. I really believe that God called me to do this. He's going to open the doors, and as long as he continues to open the doors, I'm going to walk through them.